What's up guys, Rob from ClicksGeek, and today's video I want to walk you through a plumbing PPC campaign that we've been running in Boise, Idaho. Uh, we've had this client for, oh my god, I don't even, 2016, 2017, they've been with us forever. Um, very steady, always predictable, high conversion rate, you can see here, I'll run through the stats, 60% conversion rate. Now we're looking at last 30 days data, that's November 3rd, 2020 to December 2nd, 2020. And well, it should be. I should have added today in there, but that's fine. Today's December third. All right. So last thirty days, and again, that's a Palmer in Boise. Ninety-one dollar a day budget. This budget has been the same for years. They've never even changed it. They they're definitely running lean. They could get way more leads in this too if they increase their budget. But they're happy with the volume they get, and they don't really want to do anything else. <laughs> they want to stir the pot. So I respect that. Ninety-one dollar a day budget. In the last 30 days, they've gotten 71 clicks out of 3,077 3 impressions, 2.31% click-through rate, which is pretty low. We actually should do better than that, but you know this campaign doesn't really take much work to manage. Average cost per click in Boise for plumbing is $28. They've gotten 42.79 conversions. If you're wondering about the 0.79, it's because of the attribution model we have set up to count conversions. Um, that's for another video though. For, for most, of the, most of the people watching this, you should have last click attribution model just so you don't have point like seven nine stuff like this. So they've basically gotten 42 leads in the last 30 days and these are these are not uh, newsletter type stuff. These are phone calls and these are full contact form submission leads. Name, email, phone, tell us about your plumbing problem type stuff. Okay, so they're legitimate leads. Cost per lead is hovering around $46. That's a 60% conversion rate, which is uh, outrageous. It's awesome. Very happy with that. And um, you can see here we have their search impression shares 52%. So they're actually, their, their search impression share is pretty low, but I'm, it's very difficult to get that higher and balance the budget they have without increasing the budget. So that's why it's low. So if you're not familiar with what search impression share is, it basically just means it's your search impression share on Google when someone types in one of your keywords to see your ads. So if I'm 52%, that means when someone searches Google in Boise or whatever location I'm targeting, they're only going to see my ads 52 times out of every 100 searches. That's pretty much the gist of what it means. Obviously, you want to be as close to 100% as possible, but like I said, it's a balancing act. So you got to do what you can with the budget you got. Now if we go into the ad groups, I'm going to show you the ad groups here. They're very basic, okay? Boise Plumber, it's getting the majority of our leads. It's very straightforward. All of our match types for, for all the keywords inside these ad groups are exact and phrase. So they're very, they're very, um, they're very high quality leads. They're not competitor style search terms that are driving calls. So you're not getting calls into your... They're not getting calls into their uh, into their office asking for you know, ABC plumbing in Boise. Like a lot of the a lot of the plumbing campaigns that we that come to us come from other agencies, and a majority of the traffic they get is people looking for other um, competitors in their space, and that's because they're using the wrong type of match types. And that's a huge problem in these uh, service-based spaces. So Boise Plumber, it's our top one. We sort by uh, sort by clicks here. We can do a, uh, plumbing services, Boise Plumber, their brand, plumbing company, plumbing contractors, plumbers on call, and then not really much action on these ones. But as, as I said, guys, this, this is a very small campaign. It's been running for years. This could be expanded. It definitely could be expanded more. If the client was interested in more, more leads and more increasing the budget and stuff like that, it would totally be worth doing that. But as for right now, they're very happy, so there's no reason to do that. But if I am in growth mode and I'm a plumbing company and you're looking to really break out, I mean, each one of these ad groups can be broken off into more ad groups. Sewer pipe repair could be, uh, you know, sewer drain repair. You can break off into that ad group. Sewer repair, break off into that. There's a lot of things. Emergency plumbing, 24-hour plumbing could be another ad group. And you can break off all that. Water heater repairs, water heater installations, water heater replacements. That's three ad groups on its own right there. Uh, more plumbing keywords. So we got the main ones, contractor, company. You can see here, they all they all pull leads. Our conversion rates are ridiculous. So our landing page, our message match, everything works great for the client. And they're happy with that. So that's why we haven't really messed with it. 
But that's pretty much it. It's a very straightforward, very small. It's a nine ad group campaign that pulls almost 50 leads a month on a modest budget of five days a week, $91 a day. And uh, we're running maximize clicks conversion, or I'm sorry, maximize clicks. Let me just double check that actually, because we might have switched over to target CPA. I'm not sure. Maximize clicks, okay. And we have a bid cap max bid cap at $35 so I could probably push it up a little bit too to get more impression share but I'm not gonna mess with that right now so yeah it's a uh, straightforward guys maximize clicks so we're letting Google's algorithm do all the bidding for us we have our ad groups nice tightly themed we're only running exact and phrase match keywords our ads talk about what's on the landing page so when they go they click our ad whatever we said in the ad they say they see immediately it's on the landing page so our message match is perfect and um, our call to actions, just you know, call for emergency help, stuff like that, just the basic plumbing stuff, nothing outrageous. It's really that easy, guys. It's all it is. So if you have a plumbing company or you have a client who's a plumber and you need P uh, PPC ads, give us a call. Visit our website, clicksgeek.com, and uh, we can deploy this campaign or a style of this type of campaign into your location or your client's location and uh, turn it on and get it going. All right, guys. If you have any questions, drop them in the uh, comment section below the video, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.